Stevenson gets the 11-8 win tonight over York College here at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, please tell me that you were filming your halftime speech and that we will be able to replay it forever. What changed from half number one to half well, number two? Thought, um, I really didn't think we played that bad in the first half. You know, I think defensively we had a really good game plan. Coach Paul did a great job, and I thought we can guard them. You know what I mean? So I thought we did a good job, and Mark was really on tonight. He played well. I thought both keepers played really well and made some good saves. Excuse me there. And um, <coughs> and acid in a big game gets you kind of going a little bit. <laughs> But, but I thought our offense was struggling a tad, you know, just because they were really physical. You know, they get out in, you weren't, they weren't really calling anything, and they're, so they're really physical and doing that. But I, I got kind of on them at halftime a little bit, and I think they're a prideful group. You know, they really do a good job offensively, prideful, and they made some really tough plays in the second half, and then that third, start that third quarter. And so once we got, they got a little life and going there, and like, I mean, like, just look at the goal that Dylan um, Linhart scored there in the man up. He gets crushed by a kid, turns around and it sticks it. So those are the kind of plays that win, win big games against nationally ranked teams because you got to make tough plays to do that. So I thought we made a lot of tough plays in the second half, and it really paid off, and we made them follow us. And I think, you know, that's the difference between winning and losing. We don't make some of those tough plays. We probably don't pull this one out. But in the end, Mark Pouch, you know, just, you know, playing – lights out you know just did a great job and i think we cleared the ball a little bit better you know we had a couple issues tyler threw it to the other team one time and we we, we cleared a couple times a little bit better you know we might get out even more so but that's a really really good team coach childs and them they were great you know 15 and uh 44 are excellent and 28 and four and you know i think they're good you know they they got some guys and so but we're happy to get the w and we'll see them in two weeks again right here most likely and so but um just proud of what they did i didn't really say much i think they themselves understood that they had to play better and uh, they're a prideful group. So we're calling Dylan Linhart Lionheart because he was getting his butt kicked all night, but he showed a lot of heart throughout the course yeah. of this one. So let's talk about a couple things. You mentioned Mark Paust. Yep. I think uh, we talked the last time about what uh, Mark's been through this season and and the emotions tonight of it being senior night and for him to step up when you needed it badly in the first half, for him yeah. to make those saves and keep you guys in this one. I, what, what else can you say about him? Well, Mark, you know, he's just, <laughs> he's just such a great person, you know, and going through his father passing away and us trying to rush together because in Messiah uh, canceling their season and put some senior day together and get his brother down here was great and I uh, wish we could have got his mother but it was just too much of a turnaround for that and you know he's playing for his dad his dad's such a tremendous tremendous person and uh, you know we we're able to lucky enough here to name his locker after his dad now which is a tremendous thing and you know he's just living the moment living in the dream now he's going to do everything he can to help this team he loves Stevenson he loves his teammates and um, I think he's really appreciative of everything we've done for his family and uh, and uh, you know he's just a special kid Sometimes guys try behind the back goals because they want to get the sports center. Sometimes guys do it because they have to in order to score. And you got two of them tonight that were necessary. You got the one from Tatum earlier in the third quarter and then the closing seconds from Coleman there at the end of the third quarter. Uh, you know, other than they're awesome and they're fun and we can look at them and watch them forever. Um, how important is it in that situation to, for a, a, an attacking player to know what they have to do? Well, I just think that, you know, both goals are really important. You know, they got an incredible behind-the-back goal at the end of the yep. first quarter. We're playing one, should have been one nothing. They get to, he grabs the shot and puts it behind the back and scores. Then he scores a one-hander later. You know, so there's like four goals here that were Sports Center top ten highlight type things. And uh, But, you know, I think it was a big goal at the end of the third quarter, Coleman getting that behind-the-back goal right there um, to get us going there because, you know, they were kind of pushing us a little bit. And, uh, and to hit that goal to go up by two I think at that moment was pretty big and so I think that's just, it just happens those guys are talented as they have talented guys and Coleman's the kind of kid that can do that stuff as is Tatum you know Tatum's behind the back to get us the second goal you know that's a great shot you know I think and we're pretty good at you know time place situation for those we just don't do them for the hell of them you know they they have the freedom to do them but those are both very critical but how you end quarters I think is very vastly important and, and to get one at the end of the third quarter there uh, to kind of keep our momentum going I thought was uh, uh, was a big one for us. Coach, I don't know what else to say. This was this felt like it meant more than just one win. This felt like an emotional, big time game, ranked opponent, the whole deal. Congratulations on a massive win, and we'll see as we get ready for the postseason. No doubt. Thanks a lot. Have a great one. He's Coach Paul Cantabene. I'm Glenn Clark. Go Mustang Sports TV.